welcome back everybody we got another review for you today this is a company called I'm gonna open this case that's why it's upside down I don't know how to pronounce it Avrit Avrit I hope I always forget to ask how they're pronounced but this is a hammer drill this is a cordless hammer drill and I'm just getting started here by showing you everything the way it came all in their packages we're gonna open this up in just a second but uh, there's your first glimpse at it. A two-handed, this thing weighs a lot. I'm gonna actually go get a scale to, um, to weigh it because it is hefty and it runs completely on batteries. Uh, why am I even continuing? Let's get it all out of, out of bags and see what it looks like. Okay, here's a better look at it. So what we have here is a two-handled, very large hammer drill. And these are the three settings that it has on there. I think I have a different, there we go. Okay, so what you have there on the left is just regular drill and then hammer drill and then over here is a chisel function which I've never used on one and I don't think I've actually even seen it on one. And so I think what that does is instead of going round and round, it goes in and out. Uh, we're gonna find out. But anyway, so why would you want to have a hammer drill? This is mainly for masonry. As you can see here, it came with three masonry bits and what you'll find is if you're trying to drill through and install like anchors in concrete, your regular drill is just not going to do it, especially if you're trying to drill a big hole. And that is why you use the hammer action. But you could use it as a regular drill if you want to. And what it, what it does is it, it, um, there's an impact mechanism in there. As it's going around, it's hitting it to give it a lot more power. And the chisel, I don't even know what's going on there. We're going to find out. Okay, so it has two batteries. It's got, uh, these are 21 volt batteries. And they are charged, mostly charged, three out of four bars. And so what I'll do is I'll put, I'll put one in the machine and we'll get started. And I'll put the other one on the charger in case we need it for the review. Otherwise, I'll put the smallest drill bit in the machine. And we'll go find a cinder block and we'll get started. Okay, so here's a look at it, all put together. We got the battery in there, just slides in and clicks, and we got a drill bit in there. I wanted to show you the way bits mount. This is kind of neat. I'll try to angle this up. You just press down on this, see that? And then you can get the bit out, same thing putting it in. Push down, bit in, let go, and it's got it. That fast. And then you're ready to go. And then, so the other thing here, you're probably wondering what that is. You press that in, there is a uh, hole there, and that is for this guide over here. This is your depth guide. This was in the case as well. It was up in the top. And so you take the teeth down there, and you put them towards the bottom, and then you can press the button and push it in. And then that'll give you a guide for your depth you're um, going in. However it is you want it, you can adjust it to whatever depth you want so that you know that your hole is at least as deep as the screw that you're putting in. So anyway, so now we have a uh, bit in there and a guide. Okay, now we have only a bit and we'll go get a cinder block and test this for the first time. So on the first run I'm going to have it just on drill to show uh, whether or not it can get through it just drilling. Okay, actually it's doing just fine with just a drill, but now let's switch it to hammer hammer drill, press that button in, turn it, and now we got the hammer action. We'll go in the same hole and see, or no, we'll start a new one right next to it. See what we get. And that's what I'm talking about, much faster. Uh, sure, let's see what the chisel does. No, let's not do that yet. Let's put a bigger bit in there. 
and see what it does with the bigger bit. We'll put the biggest bit that comes with it. Check that out. Okay, so now what I've done is I've put the largest drill bit that came with it, and I don't know the size on it. I'm going to show you the instruction manual. This is kind of beyond me. The uh, drill bit itself just said a number 12 on it, and forgive me for not knowing what that really means. I don't think it's 12 millimeters, but it might might actually mean 12 millimeters. It says uh, that it, the three bits are 8, 10, and 12 at or star 150 millimeter, so 150 millimeters long, possibly 8, 10, and 12 millimeters wide. And so my guess is that this is a 12, which is close to a half an inch. So let's give that a shot. We'll put this hole right next to that hole and see what happens. Got it. Okay, so what happened there is it got kind of stuck in there. I'm wondering if there's a reverse, but uh, I don't see a reverse, so that's, I guess, you just got to kind of work it like I, you just saw me work it. Or maybe this is a reverse. Nope, that's a lock. I was playing with this uh, button here. There's a safety on the trigger. So I don't think there's a reverse, and uh, the light is now glowing kind of red. I don't think it liked that too much. But let's see what we're going to do next. Okay, so the next thing I was going to do was put that really long masonry bit in there. But we got an issue here with the, uh, the chuck, the uh, shank. So the shank on the one, the drill bits that came, have those grooves in there, those keyways. And that is definitely what's uh, allowing you to use that quick change chuck right there. There must be a key down there in the chuck that fits into that keyway and prevents it from slipping. But it doesn't clamp down on the drill bit like a regular drill. So something like this isn't going to fit in there. It does fit in there, but it won't grab it. And so unfortunately I won't be able to do that test and we'll just see. So um, drill bits that you buy for this have to have these keyways on there. And I don't know, um, I'm de I'll check to see on the uh, internet to see what they've got available for larger applications. Or maybe you're not supposed to do that, I don't know. But at this point, since I don't have a chisel, it didn't come with a chisel, and I want to show the chisel feature, so I'm going to just kind of chisel with a drill bit and hope we don't break the drill bit. But we have to show it, so let's do that. Okay, so I have the drill bit back in there. We're going to use it as a chisel, and we're going to be switching this over to chisel. As soon as I can hold on to this enough to do that. There we go. Chisel. And so what happens now is it... It's doing that. Is that in and out, or is that... I don't know what's happening. So anyway, we switched cinder blocks to just a regular old cinder block instead of a mantle. And we are just going to put it on there and see what happens. Well, how about that? Wasn't quite expecting that. Now, I kind of like this cinder block, so I'm not going to do it with that. Let's set up again. Okay, so I'm not sure what's happening there. I have to see that in slow motion. I will film that in slow motion in just a second. But we're going to do that again. It's extraordinarily loud. So the drill bits do work as chisels. Um, if you look at the end, it's kind of a chisel. So, yeah. So here we go again. It's kind of amazing. You can just do this. Look at that, just like butter. So if you had a whole bunch of bricks that you wanted to break up for some reason, you could do that. I imagine you could be a lot more 
careful as well. Let me hold it with one hand and see if I can carefully chisel. Okay, let's see what happens. Not really. Just wild. Um, let me go get the other camera and film that in slow motion and try to see what on earth is happening. Okay, so that explains it. The uh, the bit is going in and out, not like side to side or twisting or something like that. And you can only really see it in slow motion. But wow, it makes short work of these sort of things. Now, why would you want a chisel? Here's an example of why you might want a chisel. Like say you have a whole bunch of bricks that somebody cemented together. And like you either want to use those bricks for something or you want to be able to throw this away and you have to uh, reduce the size of it. So what I'm gonna do now is, hopefully, um, break this cemented together set of bricks um, all apart with the chisel, and that explains that as well, why it doesn't come with a chisel, because you're supposed to use the bit. And we're gonna see if we can make short work of this. Let's do it. So there we go. Yeah, you know, in the beginning there I was thinking it wasn't going to work and that we were asking too much of it until it did it. Look at that, it even separated it off the concrete base that it was on. And so, yeah, that is an example of what you would want to chisel for. And I gotta say, this has been fun. This is just pure fun. And certainly useful. This is the type of thing that you want around the house. So it is a very strong hammer drill. Um, I'm hoping that there are, it would definitely be able to turn the really long bit like that. You just got to find one that's got the grooves in it and you uh, can do it. Otherwise, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you're going to do. But it is as strong as they're claiming. No question. It is very effective. And uh, that uh, there's the mystery on the uh, chisel. You just use the bit. Very impressed. And we're all still on the this, the beginning battery and it's not slowing down at all. So my guess is that you'll be able to do a lot of work with it. And uh, that's about it. Uh, this is a company I've not done review for, but it is a very good drill. They've got lots of other products. Uh, I will have a link to this product probably on Amazon and their website. But go on over to their website to see all the other stuff that they got. They've got uh, impact wrench and grease gun all this is electric and some other things that i can't remember so you're gonna have to go to the link 
uh, to check it out. It's not very expensive. This thing, I think, uh, I can't remember what the price was, but it wasn't uh, scary. And it's very good. So I'm very happy to have reviewed this. I'm happy to have this. I get to use it now. And I appreciate you watching. Check out the link and the top pin comment for the link to uh, go pick one up. All right, see you all next time.